Greetings. Hey, it's Easy Q. We're working on a new video, and I've probably done this before, so I don't even know if it's repetitive or what, but we're really looking at a life review with no physical ascension, meaning that we don't have to go to spirit to get some understandings about some of what we've done in this lifetime. Um, but when we look at uh, the life review with no physical ascension, we can start clearing some stuff up while we're still here on planet Earth. And these are great opportunities for us to let things go. Like, let's just say, Things were, you know, perfect or not perfect, you can just start even, you know, receding from that and letting more things go from your consciousness. Because, you know, really, I think when we come into this planetary school, it's an opportunity for us to grow and expand and, and we get to do different things. And sometimes we'll say, well, that that was bad, you know, or you could say you got an A plus in that one uh, instance that you were working with, whatever pattern it was or whatever a storyline it was that you can start just letting things go. And a lot of times I think people in this lifetime, they start kind of you know, talking about the stories of their lives, and it's just, you know, it, you just keep perpetuating that pattern. And so as we work with the uh, life review with no physical ascension, we just start noticing that we can start letting things go. We can start releasing, dissolving, removing, <laughs> uh, erasing any of these states of consciousness, because whatever's happened in your life, whether it be good, bad, or different, or strange or freaky, that you still have an opportunity to start clearing up some things and letting those stories go. Put it in the trash can and then get rid of the trash can. So all of these energies are super dynamic. So life review with uh, no physical ascension is a great opportunity before we go to spirit. And sometimes people don't really, sometimes they pass that up on that uh, life review with no physical ascension and they go back to spirit and there's more um, of understanding in that space too, that quantum space. So right now we're going to focus on this one written piece. And again, most of the t things that happen with me, how I create an automatic writing piece is something happened. And again, I write down all the notes and everything, but I don't talk about what happened because I don't care. It's over. <laughs> it's over. And now I've got this beautiful light uh, transmission uh, activation uh, through uh, life review with no physical ascension. So here we go. We're going to start with this beautiful automatic written piece, and there may be a little bit more after that, so we'll see. All right. Life review with no physical ascension supports those who are ready to access more streams of awareness. As the awakening of so many, you and I, we are accessing our own Akashic Records. We see a more brilliant frequency in support of assisting others as binary and extraordinary shifts are apparent in our fields. For some, there will be an extreme energy coming in to clear what is clouding your visual uh, cortex. Visual interpretations mixed with concurrent running loop patterns, disruptive, non-beneficial frequencies, and outdated programming is now up for clean sweep. Vibratory support is now an overlay of the consciousness that is available to access via the Akashic Records. And what does that look like? I have a good instinct. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a new idea. I never thought of this before. It's deja vu, coincidence, precognitive. The right person or, the right person or thing showed up unexpectedly, and I guessed and I was right. You get the jest. Beloveds, so many are already there. Life reviews while you are still here are magnificent because you have a unique opportunities to clear and release and let go of non-beneficial experiences. Clearing your field now opens you up to exploring new learning experiences here in your present incarnation. The field is wide open for all. Always it's a choice. By accessing the Akashic Records, you are able to glean more insight regarding a present moment experience. You begin to see things from a new angle. You begin to understand more about the underpinnings of your go-to reactionary methods and find more peace within by the allowance of letting it go and forgiving yourself and others. Pure happenstance, when you see through new eyes and new heart-centeredness, you begin to soften your reactionary old you. New you sees compassion in all sentient beings, including yourself. 
what once was fear may envelop into a deeper understanding of all sentient beings here now, where we are all here in this earthly Gaia school together. Blessings onto those that hear the call to arrive every morning as if it's a whole new world to experience. Keeping the candle lit to light up this experiential field as more and more and more light filters through. <laughs> All right. All right. So with this idea and concept of life review with no physical ascension, um, there's a lot of goodness there because uh, sometimes they say, you know, we don't really know what it's going to be like when we when we lift out, you know, uh, of our bodies. But it, I think it would be neat in, in this lifetime when we're still here to start kind of reconciling, letting things go, releasing stuff, um, giving things away to other people or other planetary schools. All of these states of consciousness are really, really dynamic and they're helping us. All of this experience with holding on, we like holding and clinging on to things that that are they're so old and the more that you talk about something that's so old it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then you got this big mass of yuck right and so but when we start working with uh the life review with no physical ascension we just start kind of slowly receding and some people are dynamic they're like boom it's done it's done all the stories of my life that were you know kind of hard and uh and and i wasn't really able to accept it i've already processed it i've already released that so a lot of people can already do that and for me it took me a while you know you could look at lessons or um, vows or promises or contracts and you can just say gone you know i mean that could be that easy and so for some people they have to go through a process when i was for, first doing this work and this all started back in 2015, by the way. So it was a process for me. I started doing mantras and doing all this stuff uh, to clear the field for myself. And then I just learned you can just snap or you can look at a color. So right now I've got some beautiful blue and purples and lilacs behind me. You could just work on those colors. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to talk about what really created this with the life review with no physical ascension, I had um, an experience with um, a div divine beings. And when I first started to come into this state of consciousness, maybe they're schools of thought, or maybe it's, it's a place for people to um, have an experience with some ascended masters or I don't even know I can't really explain it but I was actually witnessing there was a table and there were a, a handful of people that were sitting down at a table and it was like one long table and then there was me uh, and I was just kind of observing everybody then all of a sudden so crazy I was like going, there's Jesus. Jesus is right in the middle, you know, or Yeshua, you know, Yeshua. Yeshua is right there. And as soon as I said Yeshua or Jesus, it just went, his face went blurry. You could still see the body, the form of it, but the, um, the, the face was, you know, kind of like blocked out. It was kind of interesting, but I could see it. And then as soon as I said that, Jesus, then his face blurred. So there was a couple other people that were there. So we're also talking about, again, life review with no physical ascension. And so, so then I was like looking at these other characters. And then I kind of realized it was um, Vishnu, uh, Lakshmi. And then there was Jesus, and then there was another person there, which I didn't know. And then eventually I found out that it was Archangel Jeremiah. And Archangel Jeremiah was actually kind of who kind of created this automatic written piece uh, for me. So thank you for that, Archangel Jeremiah. And so then I started noticing that, you know, so it's about life review. It's about a life review. But I also like it, uh, so this is kind of a review when a person is in spirit and they are having um, some level of review. It's all kind of neutral. I always say everything is like neutral. And then, but I, I also liked it too that you could have a life review while you're still here on the planet. You can have that life review. And so that life review really kind of encouraged me to go, well, I put my hands on my hips here, you know, um, that I'm going to start letting things go. I'm going to start having a practice of letting things go, accepting things more easily, uh, feeling more light in my body and just acknowledging all the stories of my life, all of my life lessons, all of my divine purposes. I think sometimes we think, oh, my purpose has been met. Well, maybe it's been met, but maybe you have a new purpose, you know? And so we start working with all of that. So we don't want to add too much onto that. But the best we can do with a life review with no physical ascension is we can just start getting a little bit lighter, not only with our, um, our light body, 
uh, but also with the other bodies that we have that are part of our consciousness, going up to the soul, going back to the monad. All of these energies are really um, assisting with this capacity to have a, a life review with no physical ascension, meaning that we're starting to clear things real quick on planet Earth. We're like letting that go. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to erase it. I'm going to send it to another star system. Whatever it is that you want to do. But I think that this uh, life review with no physical ascension is a very powerful agent of change because when you start looking at some of the stories of your life and you kind of keep talking about it you're like I don't know it feels kind of like I'm done it feels like I'm done you know it's like I'm cooked you know I'm cooked or that there's nothing else that I need to say or do but then we start acknowledging that we can let things go and some people want to hang on to you know objects or people or experiences or thoughts or different constructs of whatever it is they're creating and that's fine that's super groovy but we want to let some things go that are not needed anymore so maybe some life lessons early in life or in midlife or whatever we want to just you know have the experience find some uh, guidance from what we learn from our classes you know our lessons in life and then we get an a plus i think whenever we're working with these energies, it's always an A plus because we're always, we're always available uh, to get some of this great guidance through a life review with no physical ascension. So I think I'm going way too long. So we'll see you soon and namaste. <laughs>